Good morning children. Today we will study about the other conventional sources of energy in the uh, uh, of, like firewood, coal, petroleum and natural gas. We have already studied about fire and uh, firewood and coal. Today we will discuss about the um, fossil fuels uh, or uh, petroleum and uh, today now we will study about natural gas. So what is natural gas? Natural gas is found with the petroleum deposits along with petroleum deposits and it is released when crude oil is brought to the surface. Natural gas is produced from the crude oil which is obtained from the earth. It can be used as a domestic and in industrial purposes also. Domestic purpose, especially we are using the cooking gas, natural LPG or cooking gas that is also uh, obtained the, the, from this only. Okay, now then another purposes for industrial purposes or industrial regions also we use natural gas. So important countries, it can be used as domestic and industrial fuel. Important countries which are producing the uh, natural gas are Russia, Norway, UK and Netherlands. These are the important countries producing natural gas in the world largely. In India, some regions, Jaisalma, Krishna, Godavari, Delta, Tri, uh, Tripura, these are important areas uh, and uh, offshore of Mumbai uh, also have uh, natural gas resources. So, these are the regions in India where the natural gas reserves are found. Okay? Very few countries in the world have sufficient natural gas or uh, reserves of their own and they are importing from other countries okay largely we also we too do not have india also do not have a larger reserves of natural gas we are also importing from other countries so now we know that uh, there is a sharp increase in the consumption of fossil fuels how led to the depletion of an alarming uh, rate we know that uh, uh, many of uh, uh, countries are using the fossil fuels in a large scale for different purposes in the industries and because of the growing population consumption of these uh, uh, <coughs> conventional resources are more. So fossil fuels especially will be, uh, it is getting depleted and it will get exhausted in the future. So here uh, unchecked burning of fossil fuel is like an unchecked uh, dripping of water. Okay, the, when the taps are, water taps are dripping or if there is leakage, how water is wasted. Like that unchecked burning of fossil fuel and these all will eventually uh, run dry afterwards because there will be shortage of uh, fossil fuels in the future because we are consuming without any sustainable manner so that uh, <coughs> this has led to the tapping of various non-conventional sources of energy that are cleaner alternatives to fossil fuels many of the uh, uh, natural gas which is uh, also non-polluting so that uh, these are when we are consuming more and more or wastage also occurring due to that uh, there will be shortage of such kind of cleaner and alternatives of cleaner energy will get exhausted. So compressed natural gas or CNG which is now popular which is eco-friendly okay that is very good for the eco-friendly uh, or friendly to the nature. So it is used nowadays in the automobile fuel so it causes less pollution than the petroleum and diesel. CNG or the compressed uh, natural gas which is nowadays used in the cities largely in the cities used here. Uh, in our country also because this has less pollution it can control the pollution so uh, that is also uh, now promoted largely encouraged by the government also for the reduction of or reducing the uh, pollution now another one is the idle power how idle power is obtained okay rain water or the river water which is stored in dams we know that large dams multi purposes uh, projects or dams are constructed in that rainwater or the river water is stored in the dams. So these are falling, dropping from the uh, heights 
and falling water uh, through the pipes inside the dam over the turbine blades. Turbines are kept on the turbine blades when the water falling from the uh, height, very high. Uh, what happens? Uh, the moving blades they turn the generator to produce electricity. Turbines are fixed at the bottom so that when water falls from the much higher areas in the dams, so from the dams. Uh, the turbines turn and produce electricity. This is called hydroelectricity. So, how hydro power is generated? So, water discharge when water is falling on the turbines, the water also is flowing through the canals or the channels are constructed. So, this water which is falling after generating electricity that is discharged or this e water is then, uh, used for irrigation purposes. So, canals are constructed from the dams where after the uh, <coughs> turbine. So, this water is regulated to the agricultural fields for irrigation purposes. One fourth of the world's electricity is produced by hydropower. So, it is largely used for producing electricity. Water is used or hydropower is one fourth of the world's electricity is produced for hydropower. The leading producers of hydropower in the world are important countries Paraguay, Norway, Brazil and China. These are the countries are leading producers of hydro electricity. Some important hydro power stations in India also occur. They are the Bhakranangal. Bhakranangal is one of the important uh, multi purpose projects, Gandhi Sagar, Nagarjuna Sagar, and Damodar Valley projects. So these are all important uh, <coughs> hydro electricity generating power projects. Okay. So, Norway is one of the, uh, was the first country in the world to develop hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity was first generated or discovered in uh, Norway. It's a, uh, uh, so Norway was the first country to generate electricity. So, hydropower or hydroelectricity also is uh, largely produced uh, and one fourth of the world's electricity is produced from hydroelectricity from water only. So, tomorrow we will study about the non-conventional sources of energy. So, today conventional sources of energy, firewood, coal, petroleum, natural gas, these are all coming under hydro, uh, coming under conventional sources of energy. Now, in the next class, we will discuss about the non-conventional sources of energy.